It took me less than one hour to create today's projects. They are fun and easy to do, and I can't wait to show you how I made them. My name is Lisa, and this is Our Gray House. Now, I normally try to separate out the projects in my video, but for today's video, we're taking a different approach. It's just gonna be kind of a crafting last minute type thing, and um, I'm just gonna be chatting away and showing you what I'm doing. So I had this house shape that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance, and I'm just giving it a coat of the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen. And as you can see, that little wood round on the bottom, I had given it a coat of the white paint, decided to go in with the black, and I'm just using those, the wood rings as kind of a guide to go all the way around. I'm just trying to be careful. Trying to speed up the process with that glue gun to get it dried faster. Patience is the virtue though, <laughs> which I don't really usually have tend to be a little impatient. Now I'm taking these three little terracotta pots. I got these from Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to be painting them three different colors. I'm using that pretty blue color and then I have a nice purple color and then I'm going to be using that vintage green color that I've used in several other projects this season. I did not give these a base coat. I just painted them on the surface and so I had to, it was really only one coat that I gave it, but, um, and, and it went just fine. It didn't soak in too much or anything. Now I'm going to be creating the nativity scene on this little wood round and just kind of sketching out. I'd already pencil sketched out what I was going to draw and I had seen several different versions of this on Pinterest and I'm by no means an artist, but I'm just trying to do like a simple little pencil drawing of the nativity scene. I think it turned out really cute. <laughs> now I'm taking that house and I have this page from an old hymnal and it's O Holy Night and I'm just trying to figure out where to cut so it'll fit where I want it to fit. Cutting off the excess there that I don't need. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I apply a generous glob of it down <laughs> and I spread it out with that little silicone um, makeup brush that I have and putting a little bit more on top and then I'm going to have to set that aside and let it dry because when I use my heat gun it doesn't dry the best way so just gave that a coat and then I'm going to set it aside. And now I'm trying to see how to, what to do with this. Um, it's a ping pong ball that I got from Dollar Tree, a set of them. I'm going to be using two um, as heads. So I'm painting it with, gosh, I don't remember. I think I used to territorial beige on this. That's my ring doorbell going off. Anyway, I'm using that little picker thing from Dollar Tree to kind of hold it on because I didn't have like a really a skewer or anything handy. This is part of a playlist. It's Keeping Christ in Christmas. It's a DIY open playlist. It's hosted by Jujube DIY, Crafting in Mimi's World, and Happiness Created. And of course, the links will be in the description box below for all of their channels as well as the playlist. Now, I am trying to create Mary's like garments. I don't know, I guess, cape and veil type thing. And I'm just using some felt. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I'm trying to cut out you know, I'm not a seamstress, so I'm not really sure what shape. I'm just kind of cutting out some shapes and going to be trying to wing it from there. I'm hot gluing on that ping pong ball on top of two of the terracotta pots. One's going to be Mary, one's going to be Joseph. And this is going to be the manger for baby Jesus. And I've just got some tan felt for that. And I have a wooden bead that I'm going to be kind of gluing the tan felt around. And I kind of have too much felt, so I have to go in and cut some of the felt like down so that it'll fit inside that terracotta pot. 
Now again, back to making their garments or their veils or head coverings. I'm not really sure exactly what it's called. Probably has an official name. I just don't know it. I'm gonna go in with some hot glue to hold that felt down to the terracotta pot and the ping pong ball. And I'm just trying to trim away some of the excess felt so it's not so bulky looking. And I'm using this. Now, I don't know if that's like an official thing that everybody wore back then, but I'm making like a little headpiece to hold on the veil thing. Again, I'm not really sure. I've just seen some pictures like that and I was just trying to recreate that. And it's just twine. I kind of wrapped it around a little bit, hot glued it so it would stay in place because I wasn't really going to put like a knot and just again, trimming down that felt a little bit more. And then I'm going to add that little, I don't know. It's not a crown. I don't know what you call it. If you know what it's called, tell me in the comments below. Now I'm going to work on Joseph. Same idea, cutting down the felt and using the, the twine to make the little headpiece thing. Now I'm back to work on the little house sign. I have painted that star a gold color and I glued it to the top. Oh, now I'm putting on eyes on Joseph. And so here's the thing. I put black, I used a black, black dots to make the eyes. Then I thought, oh, I'm gonna use some like white to make like a little dot in, in it. like for the eyeball it just y'all it just looked creepy <laughs> so I was like I don't know it looked like it was like staring like with beady eyes or something so I went back in with the um, black paint to cover that up anyway crafting DIYs on a budget is a group that Sarah from GGB DIY and I have on Facebook we'd love it if you join there's gonna be a link in the description box below so now I am just trying to create the manger for the this little house sign and um, I'm using some extra balsa wood that I had from a project actually you'll see it in another video that's coming out later today and I'm just trying to arrange it where I want gluing stuff down because you really can't use hot glue on balsa wood it just doesn't work that great and you know if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I share something new. Now I've gone in with some Waverly Wax. No, it wasn't Waverly Wax. It was another antique wax type thing to give that manger kind of like a wood look. And yeah, then I'm gonna hot glue on this little wooden bead that I have. I'm gluing on some twine to act as the, I guess, like straw in the manger. And um, don't really, but one of the inspiration pieces I saw, they use like um, the crinkly thing, like you put in gift bags. I didn't have any of that. So that's why I'm just using the, the twine. I think it looks rustic and natural enough too. And I'm using my sanding block to kind of clean up the edges of that house. And that's how it turned out. I think it turned out really pretty cute. It is simple, it's rustic, and if you'll notice, I changed out that bead. So my daughter Kat is here in town. She's in town from Tacoma. Um, your gal pal Kat is her name on Instagram and YouTube, check her out. Anyway, um, so she said the other bead looked too big and I was in agreement. <laughs> and so I switched it out for a little bit smaller bead to represent the baby Jesus in the manger. Now here is how the terracotta trio turned out. On the left is Mary, and then baby Jesus is in the middle, and then Joseph is on the right. I think these turned out really so sweet. Um, it's, probably, it's probably my favorite, if not my number two favorite for the projects that I created today. And the final project, y'all, that I did today, 
I really love the simplistic lines of this project. It's so easy to make and I just used those wood slices from Hobby Lobby that I told you you can get for 50% off every other week in the his and her section and painted it black, used paint pen to do the, the little twinkling dots and the star and then the stable. I just, I love how it turned out and I think I'm gonna drill a hole in the center and I mean by me, I mean Marvin, drill a hole in the center so that I can hang it up because I just think it looks so sweet. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed all of the crafting projects that I made today. And like I said, I made these, all three of these in less than one hour. And um, so they're fun, easy to make. And a lot of these projects that are a lot of the items that I use today, you might have on hand already. And if not, improvise and tag me in your stuff, in your creations. I'd love to see it. Thank you so much for watching my video. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.